you guys don't know, this is Brian, our co-founder. I figured it would be great to get the information from the man himself. Can you tell us a little bit about the capacity of the batteries and how it translates to the range? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so your battery is your gas tank. Uh, the bigger your battery, the further you're going to be able to go. Our, our bikes are 48 volt systems um, and our batteries range anywhere from a 17.5 amp hour all the way up to a 25 amp hour. Uh, the amp hour is what tells you your distance. The bigger the amp hour, the further you're going to be able to travel. Uh, to give you kind of an idea of how much distance you're going to get on a 25 amp hour battery, somebody my size, 170 pounds. There are a lot of variables to distance. I mean, obviously, how much weight is it carrying? Is the rider 170 pounds or 270 pounds? Are you going uphill, downhill, or are you on flat ground? But essentially, uh, to give you an idea, 170 pounds, I average right around two miles per amp hour. So a 25 amp hour battery, I'm going to average somewhere right around 50 miles. Awesome. You know, what makes the batteries the best? And uh, can you touch on the BMS system? battery sure. management system? Yes, yes. Uh, so BMS, um, actually battery monitoring system. Uh, so the BMS board is kind of like the motherboard of a computer. Sits inside the battery and it actually ma it monitors the battery temperature. It monitors the battery mm. um, capacity of the cells and more or less protects the battery. So if you're out riding in an area where maybe the battery is starting to get really cold, mm. it will shut the battery down so that it doesn't, you don't sustain any damage to the cells. It also, um, if you're riding in extreme heat or if the battery's sitting kind of like your cell phone, you leave your cell phone in the middle of the summer and 100 degree temperatures out in the car, yeah. you jump in, you look at your, your phone, you pick it up and it's scalding hot and, and it'll show you on there oh, that the temperature is too high and it actually starts to shut down. Mm -hmm. The battery monitoring system of our batteries actually will protect your battery in extreme temperatures or um, when capacity of a cell is, is starting to be impacted one way or another. Awesome. Yeah, that actually brings up another question. Does uh, extreme temperature have an effect on your battery and like how can people negate that? Yeah, certainly um, high temperatures. I mean, you don't want to have a battery that's getting up in the 140 degree Fahrenheit range because that certainly can cause some cell damage. And when you get into cold temperatures, most of us are familiar with cold temperatures and batteries. It robs the battery of some capacity. So. Um, a typical battery, you, might, you could lose up to 33% of the distance of a battery because the temperatures are so cold. So therefore, we've actually come up with our, um, our battery jacket that wraps around the battery and maintains the temperature of the battery. It has a heating element inside that battery jacket that plugs into the USB port of the battery and that actually maintains the temperature of that battery so that you don't lose any, any capacity and you're able to get your full distance out of the battery. Awesome. Uh, you did mention uh, some uh, about the cell type. Uh, can you touch on that as well? Because that's a huge uh, uh, difference in our batteries. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so batteries are not all created equal, uh, like most things in life. Um, you can go to the grocery store and you can buy a nine volt battery for three bucks, or you can buy one that's twelve bucks. We sell the twelve dollar battery. Um, the cells that are in our battery hold a charge for an extended period of time. So that gives you the greatest amount of distance per cell within the battery. We use a 21700 cell, which is commonly referred to as a King Kong cell. So it holds a long, holds a charge for an extended period of time to give you maximum distance. Awesome. I would say the most common question we get is how long does it take to charge the battery? And then also, how would you optimize uh, the life of the battery for the longevity? Awesome. Yeah, so it takes about four to six hours. So the, depending on the size of the battery, uh, the bigger the battery, the more cells are in that battery. So it takes a little longer to charge a 25 amp hour battery than it does maybe a 17.5. So anywhere from four to six hours on a 110. Um, if you're up in the mountains and you're using a solar panel, then really if you've got a clear view of the sun and that solar panel is able to have a, a clear view of the sun, then it's about the same time, four to six hours. Um, if you've got some cloud cover or maybe you're in some deep timber, then that's going to extend the, the charging time a little bit because it can't quite grab the, 
you know, the, the, the sun rays as much as it can if you're kind of in a blue sky. With regards to longevity, so our batteries, um, kind of like your car battery, you're going to get five to seven years out of them. Um, but there are some things that you want to do to make sure that you're optimizing the longevity of that battery. And it's, it's pretty much common sense stuff. You're going to want to make sure it's not in extreme temperatures, whether it's heat or cold. If, if you're living in Minnesota and you get some cold winters, pull that battery off, bring it in the house, keep it at room temperature so that it's not in those extreme temperatures. Likewise, if you're in somewhere that's really hot, you're going to want to bring the battery in and keep it more in some um, room temperatures. Um, then you're also going to want to charge the battery. You're going to want to keep it somewhere around 70 to 80 percent charged. Uh, you don't have to top it off. It doesn't have to sit at 100 percent all the time. You don't want it to drain all the way down to, to zero. So uh, we don't recommend that you drain your battery all the way down to nothing. Uh, these batteries don't have memories, um, so it's, it's not going to ruin the battery, but it does impact it over time if you're constantly draining it all the way to zero. So keep it stored somewhere in a in a room temperature, you know, somewhere most houses are 60, 70, 80 degrees or so, yeah. and then uh, and capacity right around 70, 80 percent. Awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, so actually we have a couple different types of batteries. Can you talk about those as well? Yeah, so we have an integrated battery um, on some of our products and then we also have what's called the Dorado style of battery. This Scout right behind me here is an integrated battery. So you can see how the down tube has the battery integrated within the down tube. And so this is a, a pretty typical battery that you would find on an integrated frame. We have them on our Timberwolf and on our Grizzly and on our Scout. Whereas some of our other bikes like maybe this mule here, this mule has our Dorado style battery. So when I say Dorado, that's kind of like nine volt or triple A or double A battery. This is a Dorado style battery and it, it attaches on the outside of the frame. So it's not integrated within the frame. Actually, we have one sitting on, on the table in my office. So let's walk in and I'll show it to Sweet. you. Let's go. Yeah, so good timing. Um, so this, you can actually see, is a battery that we've broken down here. Um, these are the cells. So this is what a cell looks like. You can see all of these cells clustered together, and then this cluster fits in series. They all run together. The battery housing here. This is the end caps of the battery with the charging ports and, and the receiving ports. And then here, an end as well with some of the wiring that you'll see inside the battery. When I mentioned the battery monitoring system, the BMS, this is oh, the BMS. So this cool. sits inside the battery, and this is actually what um, essentially monitors everything that's going on within this battery. This is a really important part, kind of like your, your computer at your house. This is one of those chips that, um, you know, a less uh, a lower-end battery, that $3 9-volt battery that we talked about at, at the grocery store, has a very cheap or a low-end BMS uh, system in it and, and can not monitor the battery like it should be for temperature and, and cellular activity, and that's when we start to run into problems with batteries. All right, so once somebody gets a Baku e-bike and is part of the tribe, um, what are the warranties on the actual batteries? So our bikes and scooters um, have a warranty that is one year on all electrical components. So that includes battery, motor, and all the electrical wiring of the bike. So the battery comes with a one-year warranty. Um, it protects you against any type of manufacturer defect. It doesn't um, cover against water damage if you are. Now, our bikes have an IP rating of 65, and this is really important, I think, to mention at this point. They come with an IP rating of 65, which means it's just under waterproof. It's something that you can ride in the rain, you can take it through creeks, you can hunt in the snow, you can ride in the mountains where there's lots of you know, rainfall or, or snow but you're not gonna to wanna to submerge it for an extended period of time. Um, but our batteries, um, you won't have any problem at all if you're riding in a downpour and you're out there for three hours. If you don't bring a rain cover and it rains on your bike all night long, no problem there with an IP rating of 65 but you don't want to submerge it. Right. And uh, our batteries come with a one-year uh, warranty on the battery. I appreciate your time, Brian. Um, and we're going to have some more of these videos coming to you. Thanks. 